Hey, hey, that's Gleb for Creative Shrimp once again. Welcome to Blender Quick Tips series. Feel free to like our video right away and subscribe and share it with your friends because we're watching till the end if you can do it now. That is really, really appreciated. So let's jump straight in. The first quick tip is press Shift R to repeat the action. For example, let's extrude this polygon by pressing E. And now we can repeat the action by pressing Shift R multiple times. Of course, this works not only for extrusion, but for every action. For example, we can rotate this polygon and press Shift R to continue rotation. It makes almost no sense, but well. Quick tip number two, copy paste attributes. First, we have to open the Blender user preferences by pressing Ctrl Alt U, then type copy and enable this copy attributes menu. Now we can, for example, copy paste the location. Let's select this object, Shift select this object, Press Ctrl C. We can copy other attributes as well. Let's try copy rotation and scale. So we have perfectly aligned one object to the other object. Another fun thing that we can do is copy modifiers or even copy selected modifiers. For example, bevel modifier. This works for multiple objects as well. Let's select these four cubes. Shift select this cube and copy draw options. And now we have wireframe display for every object. Another exciting thing that we can do is copy paste objects across the Blender scenes. So let's jump to another scene. Select this bunker. Control C, copy selection to buffer. And then jump back to another instance of Blender. And Control V to paste the object. I love this simple trick, it makes me happy. Copy paste. Okay, number four, flip the camera view. To get a fresh view on the composition, what we can do is select the active camera. Make sure that the pivot point mode is set to active element. And then press Ctrl M to mirror. And X two times to mirror camera horizontally. And voila, now we see our scene flipped. To flip it back, just type this combo again. Ctrl M, X, X. The trick number five. Preview luminosity in false color. Starting from Blender 2.79, we have filmic color management. And we can choose false color as a view transform. And now the cycle's render will map the luminosity values to the gradient of the false colors. The hot colors represent the higher luminosity values. So we could see the potential problems with overexposed areas. Quick tip number six transparent background. That's an easy one. So here we have this sphere. Uh, the SGRI background. How to make this transparent? Just enable the transparent checkbox in the Film tab. Number seven, compress your blend files. If you have the very heavy scene like this one, which has 11 million vertices, we can compress it to save some space on the hard drive. So during the saving process, just enable this compress checkbox. Click Save as Blender file. Another secret feature of Blender is that we can click and drag images right to Blender from Windows or from Linux. So we can just drag this image of 80 right into the material editor, drag and drop, like this. Or we can go a step further and drag this right into the UV image editor. Watch this. Laser beams. Uh, funny enough, the similar functionality works for the append menu, but in a slightly different way. We can click and drag files right over there. And the editor will show this folder. Mm -hmm. But that's not everything. We can drag uh, the image from the UV image editor to the material editor. Hopefully all of this will save you some clicks. And that's always a good thing. Another cool thing is that we can copy paste attributes on hover. So here we have two RGB nodes. The first one with the shrimpy color and the second one with the gray color. Of course, we can click and just copy these values, but the easier way would be to just hover, Ctrl C, hover, Ctrl V, and we can copy paste any kind of values this way. Hover, Ctrl C, hover, Ctrl V. It's a cute hidden feature. Not hidden anymore. Okay, the next thing is Ctrl plus mouse wheel to scrub through the presets. So we can choose the presets by clicking and selecting. But the faster way would be to just hover over this field and control and scrub the mouse wheel. Small things like this really contribute to the overall productivity. 
So it's definitely worth remembering. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the next thing. ML3 button mouse. By default, you can navigate in the viewport by using the middle mouse button. But in the user preferences, you can enable ML3 button mouse to get rid of this middle button. Now we can just Alt and left click. It's a matter of preference, but it works for me. Maybe it will work for you. Number 12. What's the path to Blender config? Where does Blender stores its config? Ta-da! Here's the path for Windows users. Check it out, guys. And what we can do when we know this path is go to the config folder and drag user preferences, for example, to just load the user preferences from the previous version of Blender. Number 13. Alt plus left mouse button to select by depth. If you created a very complex scene that is a total mess, you can try to select objects just by right-clicking like this and chances are that you will get what you want. Another way to approach this tedious process of selection is to hold Alt and right-click to select by depth. And now you can just select what you want. If you know the name, that's it. That's the importance of the naming conventions. For example, you can Alt-click on this Omnilight and select it. A cool little thing. Glorious, glorious tip number 14. There is a shortcut that invokes the Save As menu, which you use quite often, I guess. So if for some reason you didn't know this, now you do. No more overwriting the files and all this stuff. Do you feel relieved as I do? Glab, stop it. The next one is how to set the camera view quickly using the shortcut. Dragging camera by hand is not how it should be done. You can set the position of the camera from the active view just by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus zero on the numpad. You can rotate the viewport however you want and press this magical shortcut and bam! The next one is ambient occlusion in the viewport. We have ambient occlusion in the viewport. I guess everybody knows this, but still. If you have geometry like this, by enabling ambient occlusion you can preview all crevices and curvature and everything else in a much, much better way. And it will be even cooler in Blender 2.8 with this new EV renderer. Okay, point number 17, select grouped. The shortcut for this is Shift G. For example, I'm selecting this Omnilight, pressing Shift G and selecting lamp type. And this selects all Omnilights in the scene. Or we can select, for example, by layer. And obviously that will select everything from this layer. Or if you group two objects like I'm doing here, you can press Shift G and select this group. This works not only in the object mode, but also in the edit mode which is even more useful. You can select this polygon, for example, press Shift G and select Similar Normal. Then we can press F6 to open this menu and tweak the threshold. This little thing opens up a whole world of different possibilities. Never underestimate the small things. Okay, awesome. And the last one for today is how to create a circular hole. First, let's enable the Loop Tools add-on in the user preferences. Okay, nothing could be easier if you know how. So let's select this vertex press W, go to Loop Tools, and select Circle. It will arrange all nearby vertices in a circular pattern. Now we can get rid of this initial vertex, apply subdivision surface, uh, select the edges, and extrude it, if we'd like to. That's it, folks. That was Gleb Alexander for CreativeShrimp.com. Feel free to subscribe to this channel, because I don't have enough. Feel free to subscribe right away by clicking this subscribe button. Press likes, whatever it is. Press. Press. Press like and share this video on Facebook if you have Facebook on maybe on Twitter if you have a million followers on Twitter that's much appreciated. Drink more coffee and we'll change the world of computer graphics.